I've been wanting to come here. Though. Richard Rossi has waited 79 years for this moment. These should be right, right there. Back in Normandy for the first time, finally talking to his best friend, Bob Bailey. And I heard those birds chirping. I, I feel like he's talking back to me. Yeah. You believe he's here with you now? Yes. <laughs> Memories of a childhood friendship flooding back. Richard and Bob grew up together in small town Lorraine, Ohio. They played in the high school band together, both enlisting at 19 and sent off to fight in France. D-Day is here. June 6, 1944, the U.S. and its allies launch Operation Overlord, storming the beaches of Normandy. It would become the largest amphibious assault ever mobilized by the military and lead to the defeat of Hitler. Jack Myers, U.S. Army! Today, nearly eight decades later, those who survived are welcomed back as true heroes. Celebrated in the towns they liberated. You got to salute back. Cliff Stump was just 19 years old when his glider landed in Normandy on D Day. The Army First Sergeant says he never thought he would live long enough to make it back. But this year, at the age of 99, he did. It just gives me a good feeling in my heart to know that people respect what we did. Here on Utah Beach, George Saros landed that day in 1944. Part of the Navy, his ship delivered ammunition and equipment. At 98, he never dreamed he'd be here again. It's a thrill to get back there. I wish my shipmates were here. These vets from another era, new teammates for the man who brought them here. I got you. Former star NFL linebacker Donnie Edwards created the nonprofit Best Defense Foundation, bringing vets back to their battlefields, inspired by his own grandfather, who survived Pearl Harbor. You didn't serve in the military, but this is your way of serving. Yeah, I just want to give back, and this is how a small part in how we say thank you, especially to our greatest generation. And to honor the fallen, at the Normandy American Cemetery, thousands of Americans have been laid to rest, some just feet from where they first landed. These are all young kids who sacrificed their lives for us. It's up to us to make sure that we live a full life and we do the things what they fought for. And we remember them. Yeah, they wanted to live too. Rossi's buddy Bob was killed in action just days after landing in France. Now 99, he wanted to be sure to tell his friend one last thing before he left. I forgot to tell you, we've won the war. Thanks to you. These vets say it was their duty to serve. And it's our duty to remember. Delta Airlines partnered with the Best Defense, uh, the Bent's Defense Foundation to bring 43 vets here this year. They have a medical team. They each have their own caretaker as well. And Richard Rossi told me he would have never traveled here alone. But as it happens, a volunteer with Donnie's organization spotted him in a grocery store close to his home. He said, hey, did you fight in World War II? Richard said, yeah. He said, want to go to Normandy? And today, here he is, Chanel, quite wow. a journey. Kelly, we're all talking about this. What a powerful story oh, and beautiful. Remarkable on so many levels. Yeah. And I love that he went back to thank his childhood friend mm. uh, for his service that day. We cannot forget, Kelly. Mm. That was thank beautiful. you, Kelly. Thank Kelly. You. Moving. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.